What's up guys, it's Carnivore Kip. I'm staying at a hotel in Atlanta this weekend with my wife. We're having an amazing time so far. We actually came up here for a wedding and uh, we had a great time at the wedding last night. The wedding was Friday night. And then, <clears throat> of course, I've been eating off plan on this trip. I told y'all in my last video we were gonna be eating off plan, but it's been incredible uh, just being able to spend a long time with my wife. Uh, Cause you know, we have a 20 month old daughter, Abigail, and she's with us every day. She's, I mean, she's the, one of the, like the biggest part of our life. And uh, you know, she decided to stay with her grandparents for the weekend. So it's been good to just have time to chill out with my wife. And you know, we still have the rest of today. And then she's actually going to get her hair done right now. She's um, getting some type of spa treatment. I don't know that that like they massage your head or something. So she's getting that done. So I was like, hey, I'm just gonna chill out here at the hotel and chat with you guys for just a minute and then uh, watch some football because it's Saturday and there's gonna be some college football games on. Roll Tide. So yes, I did decide to go off plan on this trip. And I'll tell you guys, my meals have not been good. I, I told everybody that I wasn't gonna share pictures of the meals and mainly out of respect for you guys uh, because I didn't want to, you know, tempt everybody. But a lot of people do like to know the truth or so like I update you on a little bit of the things that I've ate so far on this trip and things that we have planned to eat this weekend. It's not keto, it's not carnivore, it's straight up junk food. Like, um, you know, when we was coming up here yesterday, we ate like Zaxby's and I ate like the Nibbler's meal. And then, um, uh, last night we ate food at the wedding and they had like chicken at the wedding and they had brisket and uh, uh, mac and cheese and a bunch of desserts and all that stuff and I had all that. And then uh, what's crazy is last night, and I never do this, especially not on carnivore, but when I got back to the hotel room, I was like, man, I kind of want to do, I kind of want to uh, get a snack. So I went out to the vending machine and I got like, candy and chips and a sugary Powerade. I never drink sugar drinks anymore, but I got a sugary Powerade and dude, it was super sweet. Like it's crazy whenever you don't have stuff like that all the time and then you do have it. And yes, I know it's not gonna be good results. My shoulder pain and all that stuff, I'll have to pay a price. That's a price that I'm having, gonna have to pay for going off plan, but this time when I go off plan, I definitely, I don't want to beat myself up as bad as I have before. I want to bounce right back. You know, Monday, whenever I get back in my hometown, I just want to get back on track and keep going for the rest of this year and, uh, and start out the next year um, on the right foot coming into 2024. So this morning, whenever we woke up, we actually, cause our town, we don't have like bagels and stuff like that, unless you just get bagels at Walmart. There's this place called like Einstein Bagels or something in Atlanta. And uh, so we got bagels from there with cream cheese and stuff like that. And like a coffee cold brew, vanilla cold brew. Um, all that stuff's good. I've also been congested lately, the past like, I don't know, three or four days. Cause my daughter, she was sick last week. She had RSV. I hadn't got tested for anything, but I've been kind of sick as well. This afternoon, we're probably gonna explore a little bit in, a, in downtown Atlanta, maybe. I know we have somewhere that we really wanna go to for breakfast tomorrow, but we'll explore some and, um but we also want to take some time to chill out and watch football games. Like we want to chill in the hotel some and watch football, even though we're in Atlanta because we love college football. My wife, she likes college football. So we'll do some of that. But, um, so I'm probably going to eat a Philly cheese steak for lunch today. There's this place here called that's, uh, I think it's big Dave's Philly cheese steaks or something. It's supposed to have pretty good Philly cheese steaks and it's like a game day food. So, 
Um, we're, we might do that for lunch and I might pay a price, but I decided to be off plan. So I did want to ask some of y'all for some recommendations for, cause I know when I come into the new year, I want to do something different. Like I'm, I'm wanting to either do BBB and E. I don't think I'm ready for line diet or I might do C line, which I come up with a while back. Or either I might do B, 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 and E, and S, and add shrimp to it. What do y'all recommend that I should try for the new fiscal, not the new fiscal year, I'm thinking accounting, because uh, I work in accounting. But the new year, calendar year coming up, uh, what do y'all recommend that I should do? Because I want to get more on track, because in the beginning, when I first started my carnivore journey, I was really, really on track and the weight was coming off. Things were go headed in the right direction. The second half of this year, things have been, it's been like up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. I mean, yes, I still lost a little bit more weight, but not nearly as much as I did in the first half of the year. And mainly because I kept going back and forth, going off plan like I am right now. And, um, you know, and kind of stalling out and different things. So I want to get past that. And so I'm considering doing BBB and E or line or C line or something like that. What do y'all recommend? Let me know what, what is it that y'all do? Like, which way do you, are there, are you ketovore? I, I don't want to do ketovore. I, I want to stay carnivore something in the realm of carnivore, whether it be just all meat or BBB and E or line diet, something like that. But the thing is, I love seafood. So it'd be very hard for me to eliminate seafood from my diet. Here's a little sneak peek inside of our little hotel room. Yep, we got stuff on the floor. Yep, that's our little hotel room. We do have a little balcony out here but there's nothing but trees out there it's definitely fall because you see all those leaves this morning there were leaves all over my vehicle i want to know from you guys are you going to go off plan for thanksgiving because i haven't decided but i will say that as a native american even though i look white <laughs> uh uh, Thanksgiving is like a huge thing to our people, our tribe. I live on a like a, a mile or two off of an, our Native American reservation. And so Thanksgiving is like a huge thing. We have big powwows every year. And uh, we just had we just had a, a awesome one last year. And we, we do it every year for Thanksgiving. And it's always about feasting and all that stuff. And I know that people get mad about traditions and say, well, even if it's your tra tradition, you shouldn't do it or whatever. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to go off plan for Thanksgiving. Let me know what y'all are going to do. Are y'all going off plan? Are y'all going to, if you're doing carnivore, you're going to slide down to keto or if you're keto, what are you going to do? Or are y'all just going to stay strict and not cheat at all? Let me know. Also, if you missed the live chat last night, I wasn't there, of course, because we were at the wedding. But my buddy Sean from Intentional Carnivore, he actually got in our vehicle wreck yesterday and um, he didn't hit another car, but I think he went off in a ditch and um, his side airbag deployed. He told me this morning that he thinks he might've cracked a rib. I called him when I found out and I you know, talked to him on the phone for a bit this morning because he's my brother now. We've basically become like brothers. I'd fight for that dude, but um, Anyway, he told me that he's doing okay. So y'all keep Sean in your prayers and be praying for him that he'll um, heal up pretty quick because, I mean, he's sore this morning. He hasn't, since he started his carnivore journey, he hasn't had to take uh, ibuprofen at all, but he told me this morning he was hurting so bad that he's been having to take that stuff. So y'all pray for him and his pain and all that stuff. So back to my plans for next year. Uh, I do have a cruise planned with my wife in April of next year. I think it's like April the 14th. And so that's kind of got me to thinking like whatever I do, 
next year to start it in January and go from January to the time we go on the cruise. So that would be like close to three and a half months of being super strict. Like what, if I do BBB and E or if I do line diet or whatever I do, three and a half months, I think in three and a half months I could get some good results. I think if I, I think I could probably drop like 60 pounds probably. I, because I mean, whenever I get strict, it starts really coming off. So I think I'm, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I just haven't decided which route I'm going to go. I'm, it's like my, my mind keeps spinning on how should I, I don't want to set an unrealistic goal and be like, I'm doing line diet and not be able to do it. I, I want to, I don't want to set myself up for failure, but at the same time, I also want to challenge myself. Um, if any of y'all have tried line diet, have y'all um, been successful with it? Or did most of you, like, whenever you did it for, let's say you did it for a week or two, did you fall off and go back to regular carnivore? Or did you stick with line diet? Or same for BB B and E, was it too strict for you? Or was it like your sweet spot? Let me know in the comments. And by the way, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the rest of our vacation and enjoy this weekend with my wife. Uh, she'll, she'll be getting back in just a little bit and then we'll hang out for the rest of the day. But anyway, look, I love you guys. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram, carnivore underscore kip here on YouTube. You know where I'm at. And then if you want to find me on Facebook, just search carnivore kip on Facebook. I love you guys. Hey, Remember to pray for Sean, Intentional Carnivore, and I'll, and pray for uh, Bill Knott also because, you know, with his results and everything and getting his tests in, we pray that Bill's okay. So, look, I love you guys, and I'll see y'all soon. This is just a little update on my weekend. Love you guys. Take care, and God bless.